question number 9 what is ozone layer what will happen if the ozone cover of the atmosphere is removed answer the ozone layer is mainly found in the lower portion of the stratosphere from approximately 15 to 35 kilometers above earth although its thickness varies seasonally and geographically this layer protects the earth from the sun's powerful ultraviolet radiation If ozone layer is removed the human beings and other organisms would be exposed to the uv rays of the sun due to the exposure to the uv rays diseases such as cataract skin cancer etc will be caused which may result into death the second effect of the depletion of ozone layer will be the melting of ice Next question why we should plant trees and nurture the ones already present in the neighborhood answer we should plant trees and nurture the ones already present in the neighborhood number 1 to reduce air pollution number 2 to control global warming next write short note on ganga action plan also list some reasons for pollution in the river ganga answer the ganga action plan was an ambitious project launched in the year 1986 by the then prime minister rajiv gandhi to redu- to reduce the increasing pollution levels in the river ganga it aimed at reducing pollution level by treating domestic sewage and preventing the industrial waste from entering the river etc now the government of india has launched a new initiative known as national mission for clean ganga in 2016 some reasons for pollution in the river ganga are as under number 1 human wastes number 2 municipal wastes third dead bodies of human beings and animals fourth industrial activities fifth religious activities next what is meant meant by chlorination answer it is a commonly used chemical method for purifying water it is done by adding chlorine or chlorine compounds to the water this method is used to kill certain bacteria and other microbes in tap water as chlorine is highly toxic in particular chlorination is used to prevent the spread of water borne diseases such as cholera dysentery and typhoid This method was first used over a century ago and is still used today. Microorganisms can be found in raw water from rivers, lakes and groundwater. We agree that all microorganisms are not harmful to human health, but there are some microorganisms that may cause diseases in human beings. These are called pathogens. Pathogens present in water can be transmitted through a drinking water distribution system causing water borne disease in those people who consume it. Chlorination is one of many methods that can be used to disinfect water. Next, what are the traditional ways of purifying water to make it fit for drinking? Answer: filtration, number 2 boiling, number 3 by adding chlorine tablets. 14 name the types of water pollutants answer water pollutants can be classified into the following three categories number 1 physical water pollutants these include solid waste thermal pollution etc number 2 biological water pollutants these include pathogens for example viruses protozoa fungi etc third chemical water pollutants these include pesticides fertilizers oil spills etc so now we have before us the types of water pollutants we have divided the water pollutants into three types physical biological and chemical when we talk about physical water pollutants that include solid waste and thermal pollution now the question arises what is thermal pollution thermal pollution is defined as sudden increase or decrease in the temperature of a natural body of water which may be in ocean lake river or pond by human influence a common cause of thermal pollution is the use of water as a coolant by power plants and paper industry and other industries these power plants and other industries use the water as coolant and release the hot water into the water bodies 
This is called thermal pollution. Further, domestic sewage may also be discharged into rivers, lakes and canals at many places without treating the waste, which is also causing water pollution. Then we are using pesticides and fertilizers for the purpose of increasing our production in fields. Many times whenever there is a rain or there is the outflow of water, so the pesticides and fertilizers also flow with the water and they may go to the water bodies where they can, they can cause water pollution and these pesticides and fertilizers are can be harmful to the aquatic life. Now we come to the chemical water pollutant in the shape of oil spills. Many times we read or see in the television that when a ship ruptures, oil starts spilling from them. And the spread of oil can spread over many miles. So this oil spill can result into the dash into the death of many aquatic organisms such as fish. This oil may also stick to the feathers of seabirds which results into the loss of ability to fly. Next question which are the various sources that pollute water? Answer the various sources which pollute water can be categorized as under number one point sources the sources or places of water pollution which are easily identifiable are called point sources of water pollution for example a factory chimney waste disposal pipe of a factory into a river. Number two, non-point sources. These sources are scattered and tracing pollution back to a single source is difficult. For example, runoff from fields, streets, construction sites and acid rain. Now, we have divided the sources which pollute water into two types, point sources and non-point sources. Whenever a smoke is emanating from the chimneys, we can point out that this chimney is located in a particular industry or in a particular area. In this figure, we can also find out that this wastewater is emanating from a particular place. So these are the point source of pollution which can be easily identified. But here you will see that there may be a lot of land from where the pesticides or fertilizers may move into the water bottle whenever there is a rain or outflow of water. So we cannot pinpoint a particular field. There may be a lot of livestock in the shape of cattle and their waste may also come to the water bodies. We cannot point out a particular area where the cattle may be there. There may be a cattle in the spread over hundreds of miles. Then the discharge from rural homes may be there or there may be streets in the urban areas from where the sewage is flowing into the water bodies. So we cannot point out a particular home from where the pollution is coming. Then there may be runoffs from the parking lots or the air pollution caused by trucks, truck or cars may also come back to the earth in the shape of acid rains. So these are non-point sources. We cannot point out a particular source from where the pollution is coming. So these are non-point sources. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.